say I put my hands like this, 145 degrees up, the other 45 degrees down. If the right foot is forward and the right hand is up, and the left hand is 45 degrees down, what is this the first deflect or first to push? This is a first deflect position. Then how does how would the partner meet your hands? Now you have to pay attention. You If the right hand is up and the right foot is forward. Now my hands have to be on the inside. Why is that? Because he is going to be the first one to push, I will be the first one to deflect. So this is the first deflect position. My hands move up like this. And you please and you so shall shall. Now the right foot's forward, but the right hand is down. This is the first push person. How would the person meet these two hands? You can't be on the inside. So in this case, my hands meet from the outside. So that on the push, I'm ready to deflect. And immediately. And now we're back to equal positions. So it's the meeting that causes a little bit of trouble. Once you get started, it's okay. Watch again. What's this? Say to yourself, what is it? And where would you meet your partner's hands? What's this? And where would you meet your partner's hands? How do you know again? Watch the right hand. This is I'm in ready to lose position, which is the deflect. I can't start pushing from this position. So if I'm the first person to flex, he's got to be the one to be pushing first, and his hands are on the inside. If the hands change, this is this person will first push, and where would his hands meet? From the outside. To deflect. Be sure to meet your partner's hands correctly. Notice that the hands are just rotating around the wrists. Nobody is interfering with the other person's movement. And at the same time, this hand is also moving this way. And the two hands are doing this at the same time. One push, one deflect. This is the eye. Notice that the front leg is full with the push. Then he, this hand is a loo. The on and the front leg are matched. The loo and the back leg are matched. One's a spiral down. This is a spiral down. This is a spiral up. So be sure you're twisting the hips and waists. Please, one spiral up, spiral down. And the waist turning. With the hands making two vertical circles. The hands have got to move freely. If this can't happen, then you'll get stuck. Not like this. And then you'll never get going. 
Though don't even think about it really. Well, yeah, it's, it's a... The two hands are just rotating around. And now the four hands are rotating. This is what the hands are doing. The hands are doing that. Now this is, don't try to tie your partner up. You should be rotating freely around the wrists. The leg, the waist, and the hands all have to be coordinated. So that no matter how the partner tries to enter, they're not able to. And now everybody is paying attention a lot to the hands. But really when it gets to the, an emergency, it's not a question of the hands. The body is moving forward. If you can't push, then don't go any further. Let's say here I'm ready for a push. If at this point I can't push, I don't continue anymore. A lot of people are missing this idea of the waist and the arm connected. Because you just need a lot of force because he's going the same direction as my push. You don't need this. It's not a push this way. You go in the same direction as the push. So it takes no effort. This is when you're in fixed step two hand vertical circle. Where the feet are not moving. Once you start to get the feet moving, then you can move the feet. This is stationary feet. Here the feet are stationary. The both feet stay in their original spot. No, the feet don't move. The most important aspect is the waist. And the hands are very light. This is if you're in stationary feet. But actually, also the hands, you can also deflect from the inside. The hands don't have to be in the position we just said. It's just for getting started. But later on, when you change feet, the hands will switch inside outside. But don't let them you deflect from the inside. You don't have to always be on the outside. You can be on the inside for a deflect as well. But notice that he could quickly, because this is, watch this. This hand can be here. So it doesn't have to always be on the outside. Here, he be able to do that. Now, I would be able to push him. If my hand, if I must stay on the outside, he can still deflect and he can push to the inside. This all has to do with the ability to transform, transformations. But we're not working on transformations right now. We're only working on a, everybody must learn the set pattern first, then you can work on transformations.